Hey YouTube, Smoking Uncle Frank here. Um, YTPC, YouTube Pipe Community. <laughs> um, everything's well here again. My co host is back to being normal now. She's eating well. Um, I wanted to thank everybody for all the kind words they had to say about that. Um, yeah, just another. Pretty much just another little ramble going on here today. I don't really have a whole lot going on. Um, just kind of enjoying the enjoying the day off. Um, smoking. Uh, you know, I, I commented last week about uh, the uh, uh, what what are they called? Um, the, um, Dr. Graybo pipes, thirty-five dollars in that. And I'm, I don't want anybody to misunderstand me or anything. I'm, I have nothing against Dr. Graybo pipes. I have a lot of inexpensive pipes right now. I'm smoking. Uh, it's just a just a Briar pipe. Uh, paid twenty six dollars for it at my local pipe shop. I'm smoking a little bit of uh, corn cob pipe and a button nose. Trying to get back into the. I guess trying to get a little bit into the season of things. Um, I don't normally care for aromatic tobaccos, but this is one I happen to enjoy. One of the rare rare occasions that I enjoy an aromatic. Kind of looks like, uh, actually it looks like, it, it tastes a lot like, uh, excuse me, it tastes a lot like uh, drinking a chocolate uh, mocha or something like that. And actually, it kind of looks like it too when you look at the inside. The tobacco is a really fine, uh, what do we call it, a plug cut. Almost looks like chocolate mix or something. So, have a little bit of that. Have a little bit of coffee with some chocolate in it. So, mocha, mocha with mocha. It's a good deal. I uh, bought a I bought some tobacco last week and and I picked up a can of um, can of canal hood. I was gonna actually gonna talk about this a little bit. I was gonna actually smoke this today and maybe do a I don't know. I noticed nobody's done a review on this stuff yet. I haven't seen a review of it online. I'm surprised. Uh, it's new. It's uh, it's a new one from Seattle Pipe Club. Uh, if you like if you like the plum pudding. I uh, would suggest checking it out. It's uh, it's 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 a nice tobacco. It's a nice uh, kind of smoky. Uh, it's got some burley in there and some uh, latakia and uh, paquite, I think, and uh, I forget what all is in it, but it, it's it's pretty good stuff. We're checking out. Anyways, um, I got that and uh, picked and I, my, I found a new favorite too lately. Actually, I picked up another tin of this. I I bought this at my local pipe shop. I don't usually usually buy a lot of tobaccos because well you go into a brick or mortar it's going to cost a little bit more but the gaslight a new favorite if you like if you like the um, pirate if you enjoy pirate cake and uh, and uh, and uh, and and uh, what is it uh, star of the east flake and and uh, quiet night it's it's right all on right in the same it falls right into that kind of smoky that smoky kind of tobacco that I like I like that stuff um, hmm. well, if I could just keep my mouth my mouth shut long enough to keep my pipe lit I'd be okay um, I was sitting there at work the other day and a friend of mine came in an old guy that comes into the watch shop and he asked me if I like Meerschaum pipes and I said yeah I've got a couple of them I smoke them and this lady says I got something for you I got I got something for you so he pulls this out of his pocket I'm here Merry Christmas he hands me this thing here Little apple, meerschaum. I'm thinking it's pretty old. I'm not sure what the stem is made out of, though. It's a real hard, either lucite. I I don't I don't know. I I want to have it looked at though because um, 
I'm going to send this one off to Briarville Rick along with the other, uh, with the Peterson that I got a while back that uh, needs a little bit of tender loving care because uh, unfortunately on this one here, if you look, the stem is just a little bit crooked there and it's, it's one of those screw-in screw -in deals. So, um, There's no nylon fitting inside there. It just screws right in. And uh, I am not going to try to straighten it because I don't have the expertise for that. And it's kind of one of those things that bugs me. I, I don't know why. I mean, I could smoke it fine like that. I mean, it, it's, it would still smoke fine, but... It's just the idea that, that that stem isn't quite right. It just bothers the hell out of me. So, so I'm going to put it on the pile when I get ready to ready to send that Peterson in to, uh, to Briarville Rick or someone else that's good with pipes. Um, I'm probably going to use Briarville Rick because I've used him before and I like his work. Uh, he's a good communicator and uh, he does good work. So I'll send that along with the Peterson. And I'm sure he can do something with it. Oh. Well, I hope everybody's having a nice day. Um, gonna got some, uh, also got some, um, got a little Edward G. Robinson here. I'm getting Christmassy about things. I'm gonna smoke some of this later on. Uh, I'll let you know what I think. I, I, I don't do aromatics, but I saw it. One day in the pipe shop a while back, and I'm, well, what the hell? I'm gonna give it a try. It wasn't very expensive. It was like ten bucks for a tin, something like that. So I grabbed it. Um, was there anything else? Not really. Um, I guess uh, I guess that's about it, really. I don't really have a whole lot today. It's like I said, just another real, little bit of a ramble. Um, uh, over Christmas, I, I'm going to give you a preview. I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to give you a preview for Christmas or, or right or right after day after Christmas or Christmas Day or something. I went in my pipe shop about four weeks ago, and uh, I was asking them. You, you remember all those esoterica tobaccos that I had for that one video of mine that I had picked up from there? Well. I thought he was all out, and I was curious because uh, I wanted to know because I know he didn't have the stuff displayed for a long time. He got kind of had it stuck in the back, and he bring it out when somebody that he knew asked for it. So he was kind of divvying it out that way. That's how I got that one bag of Penzance. Anyway, I haven't opened that bag yet. I was kind of waiting to get another bag or another another can. Funny thing is, I, I went in there and I was asking him, you know, I, I just curiosity, how long did you have that tobacco? Uh, well, trying to get an idea of the age of it, you know, see if it, if it had any age on it. He's like, well, you know, I didn't have that that long. So he said, so I said to him, uh, well, you know, keep me in mind when you get some more of that, uh, some more Essex Sericas in. He said, well, what are you looking for? I said, well, I want to get him some more Penzance. He looks at me and he says, hold on a minute. Let me go look in the back. And I don't think I have a tin, but I might have a bag back there. So he pulls out this. Another bag of pens in. So, just as a little little bit of a, a teaser for you over Christmas, I'm going to be opening up this bag and finally, uh, finally getting into some of that and smoking it. So, wish you were here. <laughs> I'd share some with you if you were here. Anyway, um, wish you all a great day. That's about all I got for today. Fauna, my kitty cat, she says hello to everybody. And um, she also says thank you for all the, all the kind words you had to say about her wellness. She's good now. She's eating well. She's a healthy, fat cat again. She's over here sleeping next to me. So, I'm going to let you all go. Wish you all a great day. Uncle Frank is signing off. 
I'm outie. Bye-bye, but bye-bye, all.